talking about uh, statistics unit uh, 13 in this unit uh, we are discussing about uh, measures of central tendencies for group data in that arithmetic mean median and mode are the measures of central tendency in this session we are going to study about mean mean or average so mean or average for group data there are three methods to find the mean one is direct method and one is assumed mean method and step deviation method there are three methods are there to find the mean first one is direct method direct method the formula is like this mean is equal to sigma fi xi divided by sigma fi and assumed mean method so the formula is like this x bar is equal to a plus sigma fi di by sigma fi and step deviation mean x bar is equal to a plus sigma fi ui divided by sigma fi into h here d is sigma xi minus a a is the assumed mean and ui is equal to di by h h is the common factor in di so when we are going to use these three when you are going to use direct method when you are going to use assumed mean method when you are going for step deviation method see direct method if fi and xi are small numbers we are going for direct method if fi and xi are the bigger numbers then we are going for assumed mean method or step deviation method the step deviation method when if you find d d is equal to xi minus a if you find d the d is having a common factor then we are using step deviation method if d is not having a common we are using assumed mean method so in the problem we are going to discuss how to use these methods and what is fi ui fi and h so and d how to find all those things we can solve by using one problem from uh, exercise 13.1 so so we come to solve one problem from exercise 13.1 the first problem a survey was conducted by a group of students as a part of their environment awareness program in which they collected the following data regarding the number of plants in 20 houses in a locality find the mean number of plants per house you have to find mean number how many plants per house that you have to find so the problem is like this they given table number of plants 0 to 2 plants number of houses one house they planted 0 to 2 plants and 2 houses they placed 2 to 4 1 house is placed 4 to 6 plants and 5 houses placed 6 to 8 like that they are given so which method did you use for finding the mean and why so which method we are going to use now we can see which method we are going to use see I am going to use or uh, direct method because see f is very small number and if you take the middle term of x also so it is just very small now we can find x so you come to know so which method is suitable see i am written uh, c i class interval number of plants i have taken as class interval and the number of hours is a frequency i took as f i so now I have to find xi. xi. So xi is the midpoint of the class interval. I'll take a column here. See xi is the midpoint of the class interval. You can find the midpoints. So how to find the midpoints? Odd lower limit and upper limit 0 is called lower limit 2 is called upper limit 2 is called lower limit and 4 is called upper limit 
So we can find the x by adding these two and divided by 2. 0 plus 2 is 2. 2 if we divided by 2, we will get the value is 1. x is 1. So like this. For example, 2 plus 4 divided by 2. 6 by 2, 2 ones are 2 threes are. 3 is the median of this midpoint. Okay, 4 plus 6 is 10, 10 midpoint is 5. Like that, 6 plus 8, so we can find uh, the median or we can find the median. So if you know the difference of this or size of the class interval, if you add continuously, we will get, see, size of the class interval is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 plus 2 is 9, 9 plus 2 is 11, 11 plus 2 is 30. Like that also you can find. First if you find one number, so one midpoint of this 0 to 2, then another we can find by adding and divided by 2 or by adding the size. Size is this, 0 to 2, how many digits? It's uh, 2 digits. That means the size of the this class interval is 2. That 2 you continuously add, you will get the xi. Then if see, fi and xi are small numbers, we are going to use direct method. So direct method, the formula is like this, you know that the mean is equal to mean x bar is equal to sigma fi xi divided by sigma fi see sigma fi xi sigma means summation sum of fi and product of fi and xi that means we have to multiply fi and xi fi and xi so multiply these two fi and xy, 1 ones are 1, 2 threes are 6, 5 ones are 5, 7 fives are 35, 9 six are 54, 11 twos are 22, and 13 threes are 39. So we, I multiply fi and xi, that is the product of fi and xi. So now see formula has sigma fi. Sigma fi is this, if you add this, sigma fi. So sigma fi is the given 20 houses. If you add these all, uh, all the numbers, we will get the 20. This is called sigma fi or we also call it as F sigma fi and xi is this sigma means summation sum of all this so if you add these two 9 plus 2 11 11 plus 4 15 15 20 25 25 plus 6 plus 1 is totally 32 32 for 2 and 3 carry uh, 3 plus 3 6 6 plus 2 8 8 plus 5 13 13 plus 3 60 that is 162 sigma fi xi is 162 substitute in this formula sigma fi and xi is 162 divided by sigma fi is 20 divide this uh, 162 by 20 2 in 2, 8 is a 2, 1 is a. So if you divide by this uh, from 10, so 8.1 is the, the mean. So we are using direct method to find the mean. So then we can write the answer mean number of plants. Mean number of plants per houses per house is 8.1 
uh, which method we are used method is direct method direct method has been used why you are using this as the value values of values of fy and xi or small or small f i and x i are small therefore we are therefore we are using direct method thank you